So, is that your thumbs up, Emma? Yeah. I give you four, five, four, three, two, one. Nobody no, does it. No, she's a professional filmmaker, but not with me. Hello, everyone. Um, doing the usual, going to kill some time, but welcome to Jessie's Homemade Garden Jam, episode four. I've got some very exciting guests and some real top-notch silliness for us today. Um, we are, oh, look at that. Doing a little bit of tuning. Am I going to share this live now with everybody? See if it works. Apparently, I can share the live link right now if I go on live. Um, so this is strong content as we're beginning. Uh, hey, I'm live! Oh, how meta. I'm live here. Oh my god. D like yourself. <laughs> okay. I'm previewing a preview of my page. This is getting really boring now. Uh, I don't know how to operate um, Facebook very well. Edit page. Oh dear. This is bad now. I'm just going to go back out of it. Lovely. I'm slightly getting heckled. I love it. Um, <gasps> right, post. I'm live. Yes, I've posted it whilst being the host. Wow. Um, so we've got some lovely neighbours gathering in the back. Uh, sun is now gone down. It's proper wintry, isn't it? I had to get rid of my shorts. I've been wearing shorts since April, and it feels a bit strange to have my whole hairy legs covered now. It's a bit sad. Um, and I don't need my super cool sunglasses anymore, which is a shame. Um, what should we do while we're killing time? Yes! Dan's here. We can officially begin. He's got sun on his end of the garden. Hi, Dan. Hi, yeah. <laughs> Um Oh, shall we do a little update of what's in the nursery of our winter oh vegetables? The nursery's the best bit. Nursery. So, it's a full house. It's a full house. We've got everybody's come up. So, chard here. Next row, we've got lettuce, beetroots and kale and then over here it's be for the eagle eyed you need to really look hello flora um there's a wizard field bean in there and then we have they're like hardy hardy winter beans some swedes flora i bet you were expecting this strong vegetable content turnip and oh look how cute leeks are guys when they just grow first check out how cute leeks that is. are the cutest oh it's just so cute look boop, boop. it's tiny and so cute um, so that's our update and I thought actually while we're going to kill time can I show everybody what my mammy said so my lovely mammy sends me letters um, so I get them in the post like old fashioned style and then I send them back so in this post I got yellow rattle seeds because she likes our wildflower um, lawn so we're not just lazy humans that aren't mowing our grass we actually are int intentionally growing wildflowers in amongst uh, the veg. Oh, can I show a um, brand new flower? Um, so, Mammy said to me, Hi, ma'am, if you're watching, uh, she said that we can just scatter, scatter the yellow rattle seeds and they'll just grow. So, here is the top. Oh, cool. Check it out. Um, so I'm just going to do some sewing live on air and see what happens. I'm going to do it evenly. There's some really big bare patches further back. Yeah, she just said lob them on the ground and see what happens. So obviously this is this garden jam is going to go so viral. Irish country garden! Irish. Strong, strong vamping, guys. Um, I think the seeds are in the pockets in here. Oh, they are. Ma'am, these are so cool. I mean, I'm just assuming that my mom's watching this. This is terrible content for live audience viewers. I'm just sowing seeds. Um, have we got many people online yet, Em? We have 10 people. 10 whole people! We have Jen, we have Emily, Thanks and Deirdre for coming. just joined us Deirdre. with some vegetable emojis. Deirdre, we're, we're sowing uh, yellow rattle wildflower seeds here. Mam said just shove them in the ground and see what happens. So there we are. In you go. Done with love. Stamp it down. Um, we've got 10 people, shall we, we start? Kay, we have 13, <gasps> including Kay, the one and only Kay Stephen. Kay who's going to be performing at the very final Live Outside in the Garden, hopefully if the weather's not terrible, Garden Jam on the 8th of October. Next week we've got Fiona Kelly and Jean Kelly, harp and flute, gonna be excellent. The week after, Sebastian Philpot of the very famous 
old dirty brass dudes is going to help put together a brass quintet that may or not, may not be asking Alex to play. He doesn't know that yet. <laughs> um, That's how well it goes today. I know. Uh, yeah, Fresh we're going to arrange some like really silly stuff. So I'd like to introduce the greatest neighbours. Oh, not the greatest neighbours. The other ones aren't there yet. Some of the greatest <laughs> musical neighbours. Top five neighbours. Oh. In the top, f- top ten neighbours. Right. <laughs> it's Indeed. Georgie Leo on the Hi. Yeah. 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 And still in, also in the top ten. Um, uh, so we have a like a sort of theme and variation vibe. As like musicians might know, this is not a very famous combination of bass, clarinet, violin, and French horn. In fact, it doesn't exist until now. Um, Alex is talking about putting his arrangements on Wikipedia to make some top dollar. So uh, <laughs> uh, we're going to start with a Beethoven te- theme and variations, um, which is originally for oboe, trio, two oboes, two and, oboes a and a chorus. So Alex doesn't have to do any transposition. Um, and it's based on the aria La ci daram la mano. How's that? Si. Si, ben. <laughs> Uh, give me thy hand, oh fairest one. So it's Don Giovanni, the total creep, Don Juan, um, who is trying to woo. What's her name again? Um, I wrote it down somewhere else. Zelina. Zelina. Oh God, you're good. Um, so there's some wooing happening, and it's a bit. I'd like to. I'd like to think it's like 1700s. Baby, it's cold outside. He's like, come on, and she's like, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So um, in this performance, we're going to break it up a little bit. So we're going to do theme and variations. We've got five variations. So we're going to play the theme and then you guys, either in person or on the internet telly, you have to tell us what variations to play next. So we're going to play the theme and then you've got to pick from one to five. You can't get it wrong. It's just numbers, lads. (laughs) (laughs) They look so nervous. Um, And we're going to play them. Um, So shall we just do the theme and then we'll... Yeah. get you to pick a number now I've not been very professional and I haven't tuned I've just taken my clarinet out and uh, it's gotten cold now we're sort of yeah it's cold it's gotten a bit chilly so those fast variations later are going to be really fun can I hear you all <laughs> And this little guy, look how cute this is. This is a C clarinet. Generally wildly out of tune, but it means I don't have to transpose. And there's a really hard one that I can't (laughs) do without doing it on this. Mmm, that's going to be fun later. You can all like play really flat when I play on the C clarinet. It's going to be good. (laughs) Uh, So we're going to start with a theme. Georgie is the uh, sexy Don Juan trying to woo. I forgot my name again. Selena. Selena. (laughs) That's 
what, where many are we going to Two more. Give us another number. So we've done number two. Four. Four. Oh, this is George's fave. Yeah. Lento espresso. <laughs> between one and five that's not two or four we're gonna run out <laughs> can i have a <laughs> tiny introduction for a brilliant fun fact from deirdre Ooh. there is a sweet little pink flower called don giovanni <gasps> <gasps> top garden fact this is the sort of thing we're looking for guys great interaction deirdre thank you so much we have another number k would like number five number five so with deirdre snaps guys oh allegretto scherzando Don Giovanni, um, we, Georgie and Alex have volunteered. So this, this, um, they haven't volunteered. I told them what to do. Um, this, the, this, uh, this song, this aria. It's a song, lads. It's a song. Um, he's like, come on, let's go. And she's like, no. So I was like, how am I going to transfer that into garden vibes? And we thought, a bit of sort of consent, you know. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, George is going to put this on. I'm gonna get my COVID. Oh, look at this, like right, top COVID. Pro look, and anybody who's you know, everybody socially distanced in the back. Um, I've sanitized my hands. Putting on my glove now. <laughs> Alex has checked. What we're gonna do is pick some various fruits and vegetables from the garden, and Georgie is going to guess what they are. First of all, have a look at over here. This one look good guys no insects a few i should probably um not wash them it. not blow on them but also wash them so i'm gonna wash them as well uh, yeah complete with this <laughs> um, no slugs, please. we are a vegan household we shan't give you slugs <laughs> yeah Oh no, man down. Uh, what else do we say? I, um, I found one of these. Oh, yes, these are edible. Don't spoiler. <laughs> edible. And one, two, three. You four. can back away from my last congrat. Emma, I'm out. Well, now you can't do it, so we'll have to leave it on. There's two. It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna wash them. Emma, entertain the, the entertain the fans. We'll have um, a check on the happy couple. <laughs> you feeling ready, Georgie? <laughs> Full of trust? Yes. Are you ready to put your, your life and your taste bud um, in uh, Alex's yeah. very firm hands? Yeah. Jesse's really washing things, oh so. Uh, What's that? <laughs> <laughs> 
slight dampness is going to add to the sensory experience. Oh, lovely. And um, also for more COVID, COVID people, um, Georgie and Alex are, a, are a, in a, an IRL romantic couple, so they're actually already a bubble, so this is totes fine. Here we go. Okay. Ready? I'm wide. <laughs> <laughs> Cabbage. I think that's cabbage. Roots. I think it's cabbage. Rob! Oh my god! It's purple Brussels sprout. Ooh. It's basically cabbage. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Mm, lovely. Thank you. <laughs> How kind. I've got to pick my minute. Just one Get them in. Get them all in. <laughs> she oh, always eats your, slowly. Do you want your cup of tea to cleanse your palate? Mm. Maybe after. Thanks so okay. much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number two. I need to floss after that. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Juicy tomato. Yes. Uh, mm. You're not going to want your Delicious. dinner. Give her a clap. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. Do I have to hurry up? No. <laughs> it's nice. Anyway, disorientated. Great. That's two of my five a day. Ready? You're getting heckled by your siblings online. Mmm. <laughs> 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 uh, no, that's a raspberry. What colour raspberry? Is it and a yellow one? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. It tastes lovely. You're really good at this. Game. <laughs> Thank you. Ready? Yeah. Mm. Hang on. There's more. There's more. <laughs> Keep going. So sensual, guys. So sensual. <laughs> it tastes a bit dirty. <laughs> what was it? Ooh, oh, that's spinach. spinach. Yes, congratulations, another one. Thank you. You're doing well. Okay. Ready? No. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Do you want a spit? <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> Is it really sour? It looked like it was going to be really sour. It's really sour. sour on the inside, but lovely and sweet on the skin. Ah. Mm. Thank you very much. Is that it? Uh, last more? one. Last one. Only a little one. Mm -hmm. Don't fill up before dinner. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> That's a flower. Is that a nasturtium? Yes! Oh, congratulations! Oh, yes. 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 I prepared a little platter. I Can think I? there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There is one for everybody in the audience. Wow. I don't know how you're supposed to could, like, socially distance do this, but if you want to rouse me, you want to take one, Leo? There you go. Yeah. 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 I'll take a three. Quinn's in the house, everyone. Quinn's in the house. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I'll grab another one if you. There's two of you over here. Thanks for coming. So nice to have real people. So, shall we finish our Beethoven uh, variations? I can't remember what we've got left. We haven't done uh, five and. We've done five, just what, did five. Have we, oh. done, we haven't done one, five. one, five, and six. You've and done three. five. One Sorry. One Sorry, one and three, aka five. Um, I think Dan should get to choose. Pick a number between that is one or five. <laughs> no, one or three. Stop oh, saying five. Three. <laughs> no, number one or three. three. Number three. One, number number three. three. Uh, otherwise known as moderato. Oh, we're going to play the theme again, just to remind oh, you. Yes. Oh, good idea. <laughs> Thank you. 
So no more choices. segments guys after one sing singular fan mail Lindsay if you are out there what a wonderful human you are someone took the time to send me an email just to say how much they liked it so nice can we have a close-up to change the subject on how close that slug is <laughs> to oh our instrument oh my god Blech. I need to get rid of it I'm not okay I'm not okay either shall I take us on a what's growing I'm gonna get my hygiene glove and get rid of the slug <laughs> Um, also, Sasha and Amalia are in the house. Of so. course, they are guests of actual honour. Um, and my students. Okay, I'm taking us. Mom. Take us on a little tour. Um, um, big wins are those Jessie's giving them all away. We had a huge new crop of um, 
yellow little raspberries. Um, did we have a final fight? Yes, Jessie told me to take the cucumbers down because they were dead. But there is one last cucumber. It's going to be delicious in my gin and tonic. Hanging on, I've told her to stop eating them in her gin and tonic. It's a waste of good cucumbers. Um, moving into quinta veg, um, the leeks are coming on, coming on well, and um, the spinach is flourishing. Um, we've also got some beetroot in there. Oh yes! Very good. I got one too. Oh, where should be the beetroots? The oh, they have taken well. Such a red colour is beetroot. And um, and the thing I'm most excited about, which I can't actually get to, I'll run past the wall. Oh, yeah. I'll keep quiet. Is um, I'm worried about the. Uh, that we wouldn't get any um, butternut squash. We've had some male flowers for a few weeks, but some little females here, so once they open up, some uh, Come on, ladies, open up. manual fertilising will be taking place. <laughs> so hopefully we can do that live on air next week. <laughs> manual stimulation. Manual fertilising. <laughs> uh, it is a family show. Um, I'm just putting these away for safety. Um, so, oh yes, I, my job now is to remind you guys that Shortly, we're going to be doing happy birthdays. If anyone's got any birthdays, apart from one person who has to be birthdays that happened before last Thursday, yeah. between last Thursday and now, we've got a spectacular happy birthday slot that we're going to play. Um, but first of all, huh? June's birthday. Oh, June's. yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, we didn't know. I need to put that in my diary. June right, well, that birthday. we'll re-announce right. in the birthday segment. But speaking of birthdays, Georgie, what present did you get for your birthday recently? I got a mandolin. Yes. Um, does anybody not know what a mandolin is? Uh, I didn't until my uncle, great uncle Sean, brought it over on Christmas. He used to play the same tune every year. <laughs> Mum and Dad, you know what I'm talking about. Um, Georgie has more than one tune. Don't you, Georgie? Uh, about three so far. Um, tell us a little bit for Felix how it works. Um, so like it's the same strings as a violin, so that's why um, it's uh, an obvious choice for me. Um, but you've got double strings, so each string has got a partner and it's the same so you've got two hopefully the same pitch if I've tuned it correctly and then it's just the same as the violin so you've got G's, D's, A's and E's. Um, my mandolin's not quite in tune but um, we... Uh, this is a homemade well, garden. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. um, I'll go with it. You can also, they also used to make mandolins out of things like gourds. Oh yes! Which grow in the garden. But our um, ladies are a bit behind. Yeah, it would, <laughs> yeah, it would be a really yeah. microscopic. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe mandolin. Um, so I'm going to do also another garden jam de debut of the bass clarinet. Great. Yes, because I'm um, pretending to be a cellist. Um, Deirdre is going to be proud of me. I took your advice and got rid of the bow, which helped things <laughs> considerably. Um, <laughs> where did you th do uh, Geordie's favourite tune? <laughs> I don't know what your A is. Oh, I thought I was going to write this out and I didn't. <laughs> Oops. A Good luck. A, A, B, A, B, C, oh, also, much like Aurora Orchestra, Georgie is going to play her tune from memory. You could do it standing up. Will you stand up? No. <laughs> I haven't prepared. I could have been writing it. Yes. I'm going to start the show. Yes! True! I, oh, look, we can, we can all see me playing. <laughs> 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 um, oh. What are we going to play? This is a tarantella. It's a, tip, a typical Neapolitan tarantella. Oh, great. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
where they need a mandolin, <laughs> Georgie is available for session I will work. practice. Um, free, her repertoire I includes Tarantella and other great, great mandolin tunes. Um, Kay, Kay Stevens said she was getting some amazing Steel Ice fan vibes. Yes. yes. I did say right, yeah. Was that the experimental harmony? Um, so no garden concert would be complete without a horn player bringing a hose pipe. <laughs> That's right. If it wasn't COVID times, we'd let somebody hold the end of the hose pipe, but we can't do that. So, so you have to do the birthday shout outs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Because we, uh, we can explain for people who are not musicians. That yeah, last chance on your birthday shout outs. Oh, yeah. This let me fancy know. yoke is just a load of tube, isn't it? Explain it to this us. This is the same as that. So, this, this horn here, the piece of tubing that goes through there, is about roughly the same length as my hose pipe. That I cut fresh today from my hose. Um, <laughs> and I didn't thanks to Brooke and Luke next door for their floor. I forgot to take a tape measure with me, but the horns it's about six feet long, so I just sort of measured it against myself. So I'm about six feet. So pretty how good. do you think? Is that about right? That's pretty good. Although it's in a kind of slightly miscellaneous key, because um, I didn't measure it exactly. But it works. Shall we just it's check great. present. June! It's June everybody! She was 21 yesterday. <laughs> Thank you. Happy birthday June! Um, and Fiona Kelly, who's going to be on the show next week, it was her birthday a few days ago. When was it? That was Saturday, actually Saturday. 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 It was Saturday. It was I should have gone to work. Times. Rubbish. Um, any other birthdays? Um, Sienna is two years <gasps> old today. Sienna! Happy birthday! Okay, so We've prepared the greatest instrument we could find to give you the most formal and perfect, perfect, perfect um, piece of music. Uh, I've got my xylophone ready. Feel free to sing along, Actually, anyone. I'm just going to tune a bit. George, um, Deirdre would appreciate this. I, I don't know when it was higher. <laughs> well, it was lower. <laughs> Projects with Deirdre. I can never do the happy birthday bit. I'm really hard. The tune's hard. Okay, are we ready for June, Fiona, and Sienna? <gasps> to our last piece. Emma talk, called this episode Haydn, Horns and Hose Pipes. This is very good. So we're going to play Haydn. So featuring, I mean, if you try, it'd be great if you could play it on the hose pipe. But as you as you'll observe, this Haydn divertimento is rather more difficult for the horn. Um, it's, what's that, in Italian, divertimento a tre? Mm. We decide to call it divertimento a tree. Get it? Ha! <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> uh, okay. Should we do some more A's? Yes, please. of Jesse's Homemade Garden Jam is to show the reason why us musicians need fancy halls like a bit more hall 
and set back centre <laughs> because our instruments don't work outside. <laughs> Too cold. So this is a theme of variation as well, right? So the first mm. bit we're going to play is the tune and then it gets progressively fancier and fancier. My fingers move. Hopefully. <laughs> to just illustrate how the music works. So <laughs> we did the theme and then I went wrong in variation one. So we're gonna show you variation one now. Oh I'll be playing the right notes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
clarinet it already exists we don't even need to do any arranging how amazing then we've got brass quintet and then the jack and trio possibly with friends are going to round out a probably really cold 8th of october jam outside and then i'm not sure what to do so we might do one a month inside who knows maybe we'll all be back to work but we just heard the lpo's ring cycle thing is cancelled in january so this isn't happening anytime soon so please if you can do dig deep into your digital pockets and go on paypal.com no paypal.me forward slash jesse grimes to get my musicians paid <laughs> and all profits will go to help musicians we've already raised nearly 700 quid for help musicians which is amazing um, yeah. but also 700 quid each would help pay our mortgages right because hey. we're all a bit stuck <laughs> so thank you for joining us and thank you live people and um, see you next week Bye. Bye. Bye.